Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Console. In this video, I am going to talk about how to create installer for Windows application. So first, what is the requirement for us to create a installer? Okay, so first we need to download installer project for Visual Studio. And after that, if we have a logo, so we need to convert that logo into the ICO format. And after that, we need to create a or we need to add a project to the existing application uh, i have this image with me okay so this image i have with me so what i want to do here i want to convert this image uh, just going to the google so this is the url i will provide you in the link of this url in the description so no worry you also have the installer project link so you have to download it from if you not download it after downloading make sure you have to install that okay so uh, this link i will also provide you in the description so i need to convert this image this is the png image so i'm just going to drag and drop here gotham pause so after that it is done what i want to do here i want to now convert start conversion i'm just going to convert it so it is now done now i can download from the download button so now my image is downloaded uh, i will put this image into my project okay guys so i am going to put this image i copied that image from there so this image i want to put in my project so this is my visual studio so this is the image folder that i have i'm just going to paste it here so pause logo this is the logo that i have i want to create into the shortcut okay so this is my pause app demo pause windows application so what i want to do here to add a project into the visual studio so right click on the solution and add new project visual studio installer set a project so i'm just giving the name as a gotham pause setup okay so now it is uh, added so what i want to do here so i need to create the project output so click on here after that click on in the uh, center panel now create uh, add project output primary output click on ok so this is now done added so in the just click on the user's desktop so i also want to show the shortcut into the user's desktop so click on here now right click on here create new shortcut so just select that application so this is my previous that i have added the project outputs so select it now uh, you can rename it so i'm just going to rename it like uh, i want to rename that gotham pause okay so now it is done now same thing do here uh, add create new shortcut application click on ok gotham pass so same thing i have did here here and here both are the same thing here i have added the project output okay so now so this is the project so here you want to go to the property so you will not okay so you will not so just click on the f4 button or you can press function f4 so i am pressing function f4 so just give the default company name suppose Gotham is the default company name so author and manufacturer and this is the product name gotham post setup gotham post setup this is the version number you can change it so i am not touching it it is the same as one my latest version i need to add a logo into the my shortcut so for that what i want to do here first we need to add this so what i want to do here this is the image that i have open folder in file explorer just copy the path so this is the path okay copy this path close this now right click on application folder add file just paste the path here that you copied before enter 
now select that ICO file uh, your logo okay so now you can see the logo is here so go to the here users desktop right click on it properties windows go to the group properties here icon select the icon browse browse again application folder now you can see here first logo dot ico select or ok, click on ok now again click on this click on ok so now icon is added here do the same thing here go to right click and go to the properties window icon select the browse and after that again browse click on application folder select the first logo dot ico file again select it and click on ok so now it is done okay so now everything is done so what i need to do here reveal the project uh, as of now i don't have anything in my desktop okay uh, so the project is built successfully so i want to build this so after it is done so it is done now so click on it right click on it go to the open folder in file explorer so you will get one folder debug click on it so you will get two files here setup.exe that is the application and this is the this one is the windows installer so just double click on it setup.exe file so we will get one folder uh, into, into this this location so click on everyone or just me no worry click on the next button again next button so wait for the installation so it will take some time so it is now done now you can see in my windows so yes this is now created click on click on it so actually now login so now you can see i i am able to run my project okay so thank you guys for watching this video if you have any doubt please ask me i will help you to sort it out okay so i will provide you the link of the both urls don't worry thank you guys we'll see you in the next video